think I'm live. I think I'm live. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, my brothers, and happy Sunday, my sisters. I don't have uh, much time um, on this particular uh, live and feed, but the, the, the purpose of um, I was led in my spirit. The purpose of me coming to do this live right quick is just to give you a report and to make you aware of what God is doing concerning my son, Daniel, uh, in regards to the hyperbaric chamber. And um, I think I talked about it, and those that know, the hyperbaric chamber is a chamber that helps heal the body and also removes infections and just heal the body from so many things. And um, I wanted to give you a report on um, the good news that's done take place so far within. It's been about two weeks. Daniel been in the uh, in the chamber for two weeks, and some good things has happened as a result of of him being there for two weeks. And he's going to be there for uh, he's going to be do, doing those sessions for about two months. But before I uh, release this this good news to you, I want to say a quick word of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you. God, I thank you for this is the day that you've made. And God, I shall rejoice and be glad in it. God, we thank you for a new day, a day we never seen before. God, we thank you for your goodness, your mercy. We thank you for your loving kindness that you've drawn us. God, we thank you for your mercy, your tender mercy. We thank you for peace that passes all understanding of our own intellect. God, we thank you for goodness. We thank you for everything that you've done and that you're doing and god we thank you god we we we, we can trust and depend on you because we know not what tomorrow is going to bring but god but we are trusting you god we know that eternity with you is promised and so god god teach us how to lean upon the things that you've promised us because oftentimes the thing that you promise us when you speak this into our heart we begin to immediately go to warfare the enemy we begin to make us to doubt that the word and, and the purpose of the enemy is to steal that seed. The enemy, the enemy is trying to steal that seed. And so God, but strengthen them that they are able to hear and ignore the voices of the enemy. God bless you, God bless you. In Jesus' name, God, and everyone who's down today, God, who, who, who's been broken or who, who's been through or going through a bad situation, God, we ask God, I ask that you lift them up right now and God, God, give them a, God, give them a, a, a new revelation. God, give them a new wisdom. God, give them a new healing. In that situation, God, that, that, that they're believing and they're walking through, God. God, where they're walking through confusion, they're walking through darkness, they're walking through danger, they're walking through despair, whatever it is, whatever it is, God, be there with them. Be there with them, God, and guide them and, 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 and lead them and, and cause them to make the right choice. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And so the good news, in, in just a few minutes, a good news, um, Daniel's mom told me the other day, the good news 